Good morning, Solid Steppers. Happy Sunday. What up, what up, what up? Miss Ward is headed out to Hawthorne, Florida, and Gainesville to knock out some jobs. My sub, Ike in the house, knocking out Naples for me today. What a blessing, what a blessing. And have people you can depend on. That's all I gotta say. Real rider dies. I would not be successful with the ones that I trust. Trust me. Shout out to him. Shout out to his wife for letting me borrow him for Sunday. I'm telling you, you guys, you cannot grow without a team, but you got to be the right team. You know? People don't realize how many people you got to go through to find the right ones. Because that's why artificial intelligence is so popular. Because people don't do what they're supposed to do. They'll make a commitment and not maintain their part of the deal. Even though you communicate, keep them in the loop. Some things are out of your control. But when you can uh, level up and make everything right, you do. But at the end of the day, it's all business. So, you know, I was thinking today, before I was, I was prepped. I prepped a little bit last night. I prepped a little bit today for my jobs. And so I was just thinking about how I thought I was preparing properly, that I was on top of my game. This is what I mean about continual enhancement. You know, I was going through the service manuals of the jobs that I'm doing today because I actually study them. And it's amazing how much I learn every time I go into a service manual. Because what you think you know, you really find out you don't. You have to constantly review because systems are different and they respond and act differently. But most things are in writing. The problem is most people don't read. They don't read to comprehend. They don't read to understand. So one thing you want to realize in business and life is anything that, like prime example, I want to people, I am not a dishwasher fan. And it was because of experiences, the fear of having floods, uh, the fear of uh, property damage, all that other stuff. You know, and the fear of having to go back repeatedly because you misdiagnose something because you really don't understand how the product works. Now, I have several associates, they love dishwashers because they simple. You know, water goes in the valve. You got a float sensor that keeps it from overflowing. You know, and it's got a whole process in the cycle because all dishwashers are built on the same basic premise. You know, and it's very interesting. So, you know, I'm going to tell everybody, you know, 2022 is coming to an end. You should already be in 2023. I hate to tell you, if nobody else told you, you should already be January, February, March. That quarter should be being planned out and structured. Now, am I doing all that? Hell no. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. You know, I definitely am doing some of it. But I'm very clear that if you don't plan, you can plan to fail. You should be reflecting on 2022 at this point and tweaking your game so as you roll into 2023, you're ready for what comes. You're ready for, quote, unquote, the slow season. You know, I've never had a slow season, but that's because I'm always on to the next. I'm always prepping and putting things in the storehouse so that, but let me tell you the only reason I'm able to do that. So let's, let's talk, let's back up for a second, because I think that most people limit themselves on the amount of money they can make and the amount of profit they can make because of their skill set. You know, it's cute in the beginning to get off your feet and do some basic dryers, do ovens, you know, all the simple stuff and uh, get that down pat and you know but a lot of people get fat there and what they don't understand is that then you start doing it out of desperation you're not charging properly then you got a whole nother drama happening so it's almost like a ripple effect which is why you got to keep your skill set up like prime example i work with people all the time who don't know how to put certain appliances in diagnostic mode because they've always relied on what they know their basics they rely on okay all i gotta do Let's go, and if it's not draining, I'll put it in a certain cycle, and then, you know, it should drain immediately. It should tell me what's going on. They'll go to a certain cycle and use that to diagnose. The problem with that is, is that if there are other underlying issues, you miss them, particularly in the day and age of electronics. Now, beautiful, at this point, you know, we work on certain appliances. Like, y'all know when you're dealing with these whirlpools not completing cycles, KitchenAid, you know, more than likely we got some board issues there that's a common problem same thing with your refrigerator with the drama you know but at the same time 
you gotta understand how cycles work. So prime example, I'm working on this uh, dishwasher. It won't go into anything. You put it in the drain, you know, I don't hear anything, nothing. So, you know, I pull it out and of course the motor is uh, burning up the drain pump motor because the, uh, you know, the little propellers have uh, seized. So of course, because it wouldn't go into drain mode, it would, of course, even start because it has to get part past. In most of uh, dishwashers that I've serviced, when you get ready to start it, the first thing it does is what? It drains. So if it can't drain, it can't get past that, and the relay can't get past that, then nothing's gonna happen. Now, a lot of times people be misdiagnosing shit with the board off the rip. But the problem was just the drain pump. It wouldn't allow it to complete the cycle. But this is what I mean about understanding and not becoming frustrated. But that's understanding the flow. And anytime I deal with stuff, I always talk over with my round table. Like, you know, Geo, Courtney, David, Ike, you know, Q. I'll pick up the phone, we'll have a conversation. They'll tell me about their experiences. I'll tell them about mine. And we're forever winning. Like, prime example, yesterday I did a video regarding um, being prepared when you go to these jobs. You know, I'll be dealing with uh, anything that could washer, uh, refrigerator with an ice maker or a water line, anything dishwasher with a water line, you need to be prepared with plumbing supplies, some emergency some plumbing supplies. Don't have to be a lot. You know, it could just be a, you know, a sharp bite, cut off, whatever. The reality is be prepared because stuff happens. And that way, no matter what happens, you can handle yourself, you know. And that's what I mean about being prepared on many levels. So I'm talking to Gio, Gio's like, he called me. He's like, I just saw your video about being prepared. He said, I forgot to tell you, I was working on this particular unit and I went to go turn off the, do the turn off and the thing broke in my hand. He's like, and luckily I had found out where the main cutoff work was earlier because I had to change the uh, customer's ice maker line from a regular line to a braided. They, she wanted me to upgrade it for her. you know but the reality is you know this dude is a, this dude is a general contractor man so if he talks about how important it is it's always it's important no matter how long you've been in the game like some stuff happened could have been avoided trust me i see it every day and i'm i do it myself so like i say when i make these videos i really be talking to myself a lot of time i really be talking myself off the ledge because i have experiences you know, I might hint at a couple of times and things in the video, but I'm telling you, wait till you see the Lifetime movie. No, oh, it's hilarious. Like I tell everybody, because I am a natural comedian, like I have to laugh at this shit. Uh, <laughs> that's my next thing. You know, when I get, you know, get to my peak or whatever I'm doing here, and then whenever I decide to pivot to something else, it's definitely gonna be, I'm gonna be doing stand-up comedy. I got lots of material. Life gives you so much material, man. But the reality is, you gotta watch how you study. You know, a lot of people don't read manuals anymore. And you know, I see it with a lot of people who have been doing this for years. They just feel like they don't need this, they don't need that. The reality is, we all need to keep our brains fresh because it's gonna turn to mush. You just gotta find what you like and then you gotta study that and become a master. Mastery is the key to anything. Mastery opens doors because you're going to be able to solve problems other people can't. Just because you've mastered it. You know? You need to master wherever you are. You need to master all your... The thing like me, I have specific things that frustrate me. You know? But I realized my frustration only came from ignorance. It comes from the fact that I didn't know and I didn't understand. You know? Or I had a fear of the unknown. Yeah, I have those because it's called being human. But see the difference between me and y'all last? I get up and go do the shit anyway. What you doing? I get up and I continue to move forward, no matter what's happening. Because at the end of the day, I'm one of the people, I feel like if I ain't grinding and I ain't doing something productive, then I might as well lay on down and let them throw some dirt on my ass. You know? It's too many opportunities in the world, man. I cannot preach that to y'all enough. You need to get out your own way. You need to stop listening to people with limitations. The only reason your ass is limited is on you. Like me, I got the whole state of Florida. You know how big Florida is? That I will always be, eat, be eating because I cut.
Alabama, Florida, Georgia. Like, there's no limit. The only limit is on what I put on myself and my ability to have my logistics in order so that I can service expeditiously, effectively. You feel me? That's what y'all got to understand, man. The game ain't, ain't meant to be told. It's meant to be sold. And then even after you sell it, you got whoever buying, please apply it. And then put your twist on it. Everything ain't for everybody. But let me explain something to you. This hustle that we've given everybody, the game we've given everybody, you know, even if they're not an appliance repair, they're applying it to other businesses and other opportunities because now they understand the sky's the limit. All they have to do is clear out their home, clear out their mind, clear out their, the spaces spiritually, mentally around them and focus on the goal. And when you do that, you will make room for positive things to come in place. Things that will, are positive that will help you get to the next level, man. I'm telling you what I know. Eliminate all the mess, man. You ain't got no room for no blessings because y'all dealing with that drama. I ain't doing, man, something look like drama. I'm out. I'm like, holla. I ain't got nothing for you at all, you know? At the end of the day, y'all be blessed, man. But like I said, keep your head up, study hard, and apply it harder. I'm telling you, hands on is the only way to go. You can analyze all day long, but until you're in no real life situations, you'll never be successful. You might as well stay in, re in a v v virtual reality because that's what you're doing. Enough said. Holla. Y'all have a great Sunday and a phenomenal week.